Today we're talking speed control, and I see a lot of players when they play golf that they three putt, and players often come to me and they complain about how much they three putt. And the number one reason why people three putt, I believe, is because the distance control on their first putt is just not very good. As a rule of thumb, which we'll talk about as we go, I'm gonna show you how you can measure based on a percentage if your putt was good or not. But I'm also gonna talk about my system on how I think we can start to train a little bit of a feel for how long putts actually are. So here's my video on helping you control your distances when you putt on the putting green. So what I have set up here is I have a tee set up with some balls and then I have discs at 10, 20, 30, and 40 feet away. Something I need you to keep in mind, I believe it's really important for us to know the length of putt that we have. And honestly, I believe one of the most important stats we can track is the length of our first putt, but that's for another day. It'd be as if you were to go on the golf course right now and you don't know how far away you are from the hole. You might not know what club to hit or how hard to hit it, same thing when you miss a green. Let's say you always grab your sand wedge, but you don't know if you're 10 feet away or 15 feet away or 20 feet away. And I believe having that info can, can help us develop a little bit of a feel. So once we have these set up, there's two parts. Yes, there's knowing how far we are away from the target, but then there's actually finding some time to calibrate that. And what I often see at times from players is they will you know, they'll come, they'll line up their putt, they'll get the read, and then I'll see them make practice strokes where they're looking down at the ball. And then they might come up and then they'll aim their putter and then they'll put their head down again and away they go. And when I ask them that, they're not thinking about speed there, they're thinking more about read, which is an important part. And then sometimes when they come here, they're making their practice stroke and they're really worried about their technique, which again is another important component. But it's like the only time they actually look at the target and try to let their brain register how far away that is, is when they set up, like it might just be for a second. If you look at anything for such a short period of time, I think we're really gonna have a hard time calibrating it. So, two possible things you can do. The first thing that I like to do is I'll come down and I'll read my putt. But then when I stand up, I will actually stand behind the putt and I might spend a couple of seconds just actually looking at where the cup is and how far away it is from me to try to get my brain to calibrate the distance, how far away we are. When we're driving a car, if we don't know how far away the stop sign is or if we aren't looking at the stop sign, we aren't gonna know when to press the brake or how hard to press the brake. So I like to do it sometimes back there, but honestly, in my actual routine on the golf course, when I make my practice strokes, I'm always looking at the end target as I make my practice strokes. And right now I'm asking myself, how hard do I have to hit that in order for the ball to go that far? And I don't expect every single day to be perfect, but the only thing I want to make sure I do as I go around, go through my round of golf is make adjustments as we go. So I've given you a little bit of backstory. Let's talk about how we're actually gonna use this practice station. So what I like to do, I never like to go in order, let's say 10, 20, 30, 40. I always like to go every other or a little bit random because normally the putts we have on the golf course are quite random as well. So let's say the first thing I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna start at 20 feet. And the thing that I'll preface, I don't really care if it breaks or not, I'm just worried about, like I'm not gonna go exactly for this disc, it might be a little bit to the left, but I'm just worried about how close it stops distance wise. So what I'm gonna do, I've decided I'm gonna go to 20 feet. I'm looking 20 feet away as I make my practice strokes. And now I'm gonna come up. I look one more time at the target and then I go. And no matter what happens, I'm just gonna pay attention, right? I'm actually gonna walk up there. That was a 20 foot putt that came up roughly three feet short, okay? I'm just gonna register that. Now let's go to 20 feet again. Oops. So again, I'm gonna make a few rehearsals. 
looking at the disc. My setup, look at the disc again and hit. Okay, I know that this putt's gonna break, but now all of a sudden as I walk up my speed there, I was just about a foot short. That was perfect. So now what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna go to this little 10 foot disc. Again, I'm gonna look at the target. I'm gonna come and set up and then I'm gonna hit. And that one was pretty good speed as well. Sometimes players will tell me with the 10 footers like, well, does it really matter? If we think about it, it's amazing how often we have a 10 foot putt or a 15 foot putt that we leave like three or four feet shorter past. And then as a result, we've got a knee knocker and that can quickly even lead to, um, to three putts on short putts. So the stat I want you to use, and actually what I'll do here, is now I'm gonna hit one to 40 feet and then we're gonna see. So I'm looking at 40 feet. Okay. Look again and go. Don't hit that disc, all right. <laughs> so now as I walk up, I can see from here it's pretty close. Yeah, it looks like that's roughly two feet away. So from 40 feet especially, that's a good putt. The thing that we can keep in mind is the 10% rule. If you, have, if you have a length of putt and you hit it inside 10%, so if you have a 20 footer, that's two feet. If you hit it inside 10% or less, you've hit a really good putt. So from 40 feet, I hit it to two feet. Distance wise, distance control wise, that's a pretty good putt. Yes, if we're 60 feet away and we hit it to six feet, that's 10%, six foot is still a pretty long putt. But we've got to remember at that point, we're 60 feet away, we're a long ways away. So I like to use the 10% rule. So now what I'll do is now we'll do one and we'll do 30 feet. Okay, so I've set up here. And that one there I hit, and that one's breaking the right. That one I didn't have very good speed. It looks like it came up short. As I'll go through this exercise, and I've kind of gave you the expedited version, what I'll normally do is let's say I'll hit two putts from 20, two putts from 10, two putts from 40, two putts from 30, just kind of as a starting point. And that's eight putts. It only took me a minute or so to set up. We do this in just a few minutes. And let's say you go through this two or three times, or let's say you're hitting 15 or 20 putts when you're on the practice putting green in maybe 15 minutes total, working specifically on just starting to feel and understand what our speed is like. Now, we've done this uphill. We can most certainly go to the other side and do this downhill as well, because I think that is also something important to do. So to summarize, when we're putting, I like knowing exactly how far the distances are, which is why I have those discs available, or why I have them set up. But then knowing that, I like to spend a lot of time looking at how far that is because I'm trying to use my eyes to help me calibrate how hard I have to hit it for how far uh, that putt is. So we've talked a little bit set up here as if I was about to go through a full practice session. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take you over to the different part of the putting green where I'm not gonna have discs set up and we're gonna talk about how you can do this in just a few minutes before you're round to golf. Hey, thanks for watching this video. I just have a quick favor to ask. Can you make sure that you subscribe to this channel? Always like my videos and make sure you hit that little bell to make sure that you get notifications when I drop more videos just like this. And as always, if you ever have any questions, please post them in the comments down below. I respond to every comment. Now back to your video. Let's say you're about to tee off and you've only got a couple minutes to hit a few putts. I'm quickly going to figure out three distances and run us through a little six putt practice. I'm going to start pacing this out. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm 18 feet from the flag on the right. Uh, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. I'm 33 feet away from this cup here. 12, 13, 14, 15, and I'm 45 feet away. 18 feet, 33 feet and 45 feet. Very quickly we can walk up and go once and back and we have our distance. So now I'm just gonna hit a putt and let's say I'm gonna pick the second one. So I know the second one is 33 feet away. On the left, I'm just gonna look at it, really focus in on it. And now let's go ahead and hit. And again, I'm just checking speed control Again, looks like it came up a little short. So I'm starting to recognize now, even the putts that I hit over 
on the other green, all my putts there are coming up a little bit shorter than I think they have been. And I'm gonna hit one to 45 feet. And maybe there's a chance that the greens are a little bit slower today. There's a, it rained overnight, different things like that. Again, another putt that I hit a little bit short. So now, as I'm starting to look at these putts, I'm reminding myself, these putts have been coming up a little bit shorter than I think today. So I might start to hit them a little bit harder. That was pretty good speed on that one there. And then what I would do is I would keep going. Let's say now I'm gonna go back to 45 feet. I'm looking at that target, really starting to get a feel, reminding myself that everything's a little bit slower today. And then that one there, I hit a little bit harder. That one got a little bit closer. But just in these two minutes now, I know distances of putts and I know about how hard I've had to hit them. Let's go back to that second one. Let's say I get on the first hole and I hit two good shots and I'm on the green and I have 35 feet for birdie. Now that I've gone through this process, I can say, oh yeah, I, I hit a putt on the practice screen that was about 33 feet to be exact. And now it came up a little bit short and we can start to build a little bit of a, of a repertoire or something that we can keep in mind about how hard we hit the putts because we know the distance of those putts. Now, let's say you have no flags and let's say you have even less time. There's one more thing that we can do. I'm gonna take it over the other side of the putting green show you how to do that. Hey, here's a little secret. Every week I send an email on Thursday mornings that gives you three things. It gives you one golf tip, it gives you one quote or stat and gives you one little extra to help you play better golf and practice more effectively. To sign up, there's a link in my description. Make sure you get signed up because on Thursday morning, the next one's coming. All right, last one. Let's say you have no cup and you have even less time. We're just gonna go fringe to fringe. So I'm a little bit off the fringe, but I'm gonna pace it out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. To the edge of this fringe or effectively that leaf, I've got 39 feet. So now what we're gonna play is we're gonna go all the way to the fringe and then we're gonna go halfway there. We're just gonna do two balls. Now I can look. I know that that leaf is 39 feet, right? So I'm just making my rehearsal swings thinking how hard do I have to hit this to get this to go 39 feet. That one's gonna stop. That was actually really good speed control from 39 feet. And then now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look roughly halfway which I'm not sure if you can see this, but I'm gonna pick this spot here, which now I've paced it out. I know that that's roughly 18 feet. So now I'm just gonna look at that spot. I'm gonna set up, I'm gonna hit one of that speed. And maybe a little, actually no, speed ended up being pretty good there. So when we're talking speed control, and for those of you that three putt because of bad speed, or for those of you that struggle with speed control in general, I really believe two things we have to do. We have to know the length of that putt and we have to spend more time actually looking at the target to try to calibrate how far we actually are. And I believe if you can take one of the examples that I went through today and start to apply a little bit more time working specifically on speed control, you can make more putts next time around the golf course. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments down below. I respond to everyone. Thanks for watching and have a great day.